guys, Rob here with eBuy Gaming, and today we're going to be taking a look at the AlphaSync K9 Zen X PC and talking about why it makes for the perfect single PC streaming setup for when streaming on Mixer. So for those of you that don't know, Mixer is a streaming platform that's owned by Microsoft and it differentiates itself by offering really high quality features such as 10K bitrate for both partnered and non-partnered streamers, FTL streaming, which is basically really low latency streaming, that allows you to interact with your chat pretty much directly as things are happening in your game. And then also a variety of enhanced interaction features between both the streamer and the chat. So one of the standout features of Mixer to me is that 10K bitrate. And what that allows you to do is basically give your viewers the best quality experience possible with minimal lag or artifacting in the game. A 10K bitrate with a 1080p resolution, you're gonna have a really crisp looking stream. And that kind of helps your viewers to be a bit more immersed in the game that you're playing because the last thing you need is bad quality or you know stuttering and that kind of thing happening while you're trying to play the game and you're trying to share that experience with your viewers. But in order to be able to run that on a single PC, you're gonna need some significant hardware. And that's where this system comes in. So the processor that's in this PC is the AMD Ryzen 3900X, which is a 12 core, 24 thread processor. And that high core count is gonna mean that your PC can handle playing the games and also encoding and uploading your stream in the background. You also get an RTX 2080 Super Graphics card, which if you want, you can use as the encoder as well using NVENC technology. This technology has been updated a lot in the recent months and is basically a really good alternative to CPU encoding. It has similar quality to X264 and if you're playing a game that requires a lot of your CPU, it can sometimes be a better option to use. In my own experience, when using the NVENC encoder, which is basically using the graphics card to do the streaming, it's been best to cap the frame rate. So it's good for kind of casual games and games that aren't really fast paced and require sort of quick reactions. If you're looking for you know, the absolute max frame rate that you want, ideally you're probably gonna to wanna to use CPU encoding so that your GPU can just be solely focused on getting that game running as high as it can. And you're not gonna to have to worry about capping the frame rate to make sure that you don't drop frames or lose frames during the stream. This PC also has plenty of storage space with an included 500 gigabyte M.2 drive for your operating system and some applications and maybe a few games. And you've also got a four terabyte hard drive in there, which is gonna be great for, you know, holding your Steam library, Origin games, Epic games, um, whatever you need to store on there, basically. So what I really wanted to demonstrate with this PC was its capabilities in streaming as a single PC setup using the processor. I think when you've got a processor at this spec, it's definitely gonna be a, the most viable option for streaming. And I don't think there's many cases where you'd find the game is using all of that processor um, to the point where you can't stream on it as well. So the first game we tested was Battlefield 5 and I was able to stream this using the processor with absolutely no problems of latency or lagging during the game. I left the frame rate uncapped and it was running at about 110 to 120 FPS. While the stream ran consistently in the background at a solid 60 FPS. This is on 10K bitrate with the faster preset in OBS. The game settings themselves were set to 1080p and everything was set to ultra. In our PUBG tests, we had similar results where we were able to see consistent frame rate in the stream, while the game was reaching around 130 to 140 FPS on ultra settings. Ultra settings is not what you'd normally use on PUBG, and generally with lower settings, you'd be able to see an even higher increase in that performance. So in conclusion, this PC makes for a great option if you're looking for something that's gonna be a solid option for both streaming and gaming. The PC also comes with Windows 10 installed, and if you're looking at gaming, there's some great features included with this, including the Xbox Game Bar, but also the dedicated game mode, which is built in with Windows 10. What game mode does is basically allows your system to prioritize resources to the game that you're playing. So both your CPU and GPU will be focused on that task and nothing else that's in the background. This can help to increase your average frame rate, but also your maximum frame rate, and shows how Microsoft are dedicated to building Windows 10 into a platform that is perfect for gaming as well. You also have the option to subscribe to the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which is seeing more and more Xbox One games be released onto PC, the most recent of which was Halo Master Chief Collection, which now allows you to play Halo Reach on PC. If you want to see some more information on this particular system, then there'll be a link in the description below to the official product page on our website. Equally, if you have any questions about it or there's any other AlphaSync systems that you want to see, let us know in the comments below. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.